Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Small Talk Sunday. Pour yourself a cup of tea and grab a cookie or two, and let's see what I've been up to this week. It all started with an abandoned box of doll furniture, and come December, hopefully I will have a build that looks like this, or as close to it as I can get. So today we're going to reclaim and give new life to this little doll trunk. I am almost done refurbishing the doll furniture that was salvageable. And as you can see by some of the videos um, that have gone up the last couple of weeks, I have started making some new furniture. I sort of do it out of my head. I don't have any plans for anything. It's been a learning experience for sure. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be using the lathe for the first time. That should be interesting. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on some smalls that I have in my head. And I'm also going to start on some Christmas items because time really does fly. This week, I completed roughly 26 square feet of faux hardwood flooring using up the last of the craft sticks from 4-H. I probably cut and laid down roughly 700 popsicle sticks. Tomorrow, I will be putting the flooring on to the base of the dollhouse on the first two floors. Then I'm going to be putting the birchwood trim on the archways and doorways. After that, on Monday, I will be priming everything. Then I'll start putting in the wallpaper and working on the ceilings. Even though I'm working without plans for anything really, I have kind of created a schedule for myself. So one day this week, I will be pouring silicone molds for all the stonework so I can get the paper mache stonework sheets completed. It will be easier to put on the facade in large sheets rather than one stone at a time. I've also pre-cut the flooring for the towers and the towers will be done by the end of the week. And then the third floor will go up and then after that, the roof will go on. And then I'll be doing the paper mache faux slate. I shared how I'm going to be making those slate tiles earlier this spring. So all of that paper mache, I'm going to focus one whole week on just getting the siding and the roofing completed. I'm going to start working on some Christmas items early, so if something that I make is something you would be interested in, I'm not going to save it for a last minute Christmas video. Even though these are small items that we're making in 112 scale, they are actually quite time consuming. You wouldn't think so, but they are especially working on the build as you want to get the angles just right you want to get the doorways just right you're not working from a pre-cut pattern or putting pre-cut walls together it is a lot more time consuming when you're sort of doing it on the fly I made a special project that I'm going to use in my library as one of the little library displays it is also an item that I used as a donation to the Miniaturist Guild um, convention that's coming up. So I thought I might do that uh, today, but instead I'm going to share that project next Sunday because it's closer to the convention date. I decided it was helpful for me to give the characters who would live in this little house a backstory so the project that I had made for myself 
I thought I would make a duplicate and share that for the Miniature Guild auction, and I was happy to do so. They auction off donations to help pay for seminars and guild classes. I hope they'll enjoy it. I popped that in the mail just a few days ago. I have only been a member of the guild for about a month. The closer I get to completing this project, I am considering having premieres starting in October. I don't think I would be very good at live streaming. I'm technologically challenged. But I think a premiere for Small Talk Sunday is something that I could do. Let me know in the comments below if that would be something you would be interested in. One of the other items I'm going to be completing this week are the bookshelves for the library. They're all the same size and so they will be easy to um, construct and then get the veneer put on them and then get the veneer stained. It's actually a very easy job to do because the cuts are very uniform. It, I can do it in an assembly line fashion. I have also designated one day this week to working on the Inglenook hearth. I shared a sample Inglenook hearth in my build update last weekend. I'm going to try to pour all of my silicone molds at once and some of those silicone molds involve molds that I'm going to be making for original lighting and then after that I will be doing a large acrylic pour. I'm not sure if that's going to be in late September or early October. The silicone pour for the facade stone and slate work is going to be separate from this next silicone pour. Ideally I'd like to do it all at one time but I don't think I'm going to have the lighting models completed in time. Lavender is behind me running in his wheel. His wheel isn't as noisy as Dumplings was. I think that is so cute. I really do. Then I had a brilliant idea. So these are book covers. I grabbed these textured books from the thrift store when I can find them. And I collect the different colors and textures and leathers and this and that. I put them in a file. And I thought I was going to dress up this little trunk. So that's what we're doing right now. I did use mahogany stain on this little trunk. I decided that for the most part in the house, instead of cherry or mahogany, I'm going to use a deep walnut. I think that that would be more traditional 
for an imaginary older home which I'm designing. Before my mom passed away in the early 80s, one of my first purchases as a young person was a wonderful camelback trunk. It was probably about 100 years old. The oak had been painted pink and it was one of my very first stripping projects. I stripped it and I re-wallpapered it. And after my mother passed away, I ended up having to sell it. Uh, when we needed extra money. So I thought I would make this trunk a little bit to resemble that original trunk that I had purchased years ago. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.